Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Teague. This is Auto Jeff Reviews. Today we're looking at Jeep Grand Wagoneer. So let's walk around this one inside and out. We're gonna pick it apart. This is $107,000 factory MSRP, luxury at its finest, space versatility at its finest. Is the juice worth the squeeze? We're gonna find some value and you tell me, is it worth it? So here's the deal. It looks luxury, it acts luxury, it also has tremendous power. We're gonna talk about the horsepower, but I'll bet you horsepower and torque has a five as the first number. It's like the price is right with power. This is the Series 3, one of the many trim levels. You could also go with the Grand Wagoneer L, the longer version. All right, all right. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started hot. Yeah, yeah. We're also gonna get ourselves a good old fashioned interior first look. Those chimes are gonna drive me crazy, but think about it. Get your first impressions. Are you thinking high dollar amount, luxury, class, sophistication, and of course, utility? And then here, oh, oh man, do I see technology? Yeah, I think I do. Yes, it has seats that can go up. And there's our spacious, real spacious third row. Well, who doesn't like Easter eggs, especially when it's not even Easter? Well, look under the hood. We've got some information about Wagoneer. Michigan, Michigan born and bred. Designed Auburn Hills, home of the palace. Built in Warren, Michigan. Born in the USA, twin turbo. What is that all about? This is the Hurricane 3.0 liter twin turbo engine. Boom! It's got 510 horsepower, 500 pound-feet of torque. Incredible, right? It's matched with an eight-speed automatic transmission. That 510 horsepower, 500 pound-feet of torque. How fast is it? Well, I'm pretty fast, and it's faster than me. You want to see a nice ride? This has the quadri-lift air suspension system. Feast your eyes on this front end, my friends. It's got LED headlights, daytime running lights, high and low beam. Look at that right there. LED lights everywhere. It's got gloss black accents and a really unusual pattern. We've got rectangles down below, but then up here, got chrome blinging. Wagoneer logo right there. And this is just a nice traditional hood. A little bit of curvature goes up and around. I just like that with the gloss black up top. Everything kind of completes and builds on each other. Gloss black accent down below. And look, you think these want to do some work? Yeah, utility and luxury at the same time. And well, for fuel mileage, we've got a 26.5 gallon fuel tank. Get that out of the way first. 13 in the city, 18 on the highway, 15 combined, which is actually quite respectable for a vehicle this size and weight. Take a look at the profile. This is a long vehicle here. That's why it's got three full rows here. We've got color keyed fenders around. It's a really clean look. And I just like the badging. I love the American flag and these wheels is really cool. We've got these 22 inch wheels, Wagoneer, six lug pattern, holla. All right, we've got cameras all the way around so we can see turn signal indicator, blind spot. Also got this one for towing, that's kind of cool. I like that the driver has a nice handle to get up in. And then look at the window accents. Everything is just so money from the movie Swingers. You're so money. Look all the way along. And then I always look in a vehicle like this, visibility. What are the lines like? What are the windows like? Well, it's impressive. They're tall, they're long, got gloss black accents. I've never seen so much on a profile, except for maybe on Tinder. Ha, <laughs> just kidding. All right, look at that. Grand Wagoneer utilizes tow haul mode, which is gonna optimize shifting when you're trailering. It also has class leading up to 9,750 pound tow capacity, which is pretty whoosh, remarkable, just like my kick. Yeah, so money for nothing and your chicks for free. Got the gloss black accents, we've got Woo, 
Series 3. It's got sensors on the back and the front. Look at this cutout right here. Love the sharp lines. But they also smooth each other out. It's funny because they're subtle lines as you go down. Pretty cool. Grand Wagoneer. Look at those tail lights. It's kind of interesting how it feels like they should be bigger and meatier, but they're not. Uh-uh. Look at this pattern here. That's really interesting. What can we do with that? Backup camera. For cargo space, we can get up to 94.2 cubic feet of space behind the first row. So that's with the seats down. But look at all of this action going on here. Action Jackson. Got latches, speaker system here, the back tailgate. USB is a plenty. We can move our seats. Latches. Nice armrest there, very cool. We've also got 12 volt from this way, <laughs> DC, and then I can adjust these seats, I'll bet. Oh, yeah, and they do it fast. If I want some work done, I'm just gonna do that, and I'm gonna do it quick. So look how far they go back, and then it adjusted itself. Pretty cool. Now for under storage, <laughs> under storage, look on here, got crossbars that you could use, of course. Who wouldn't want to use those? But well, we got storage underneath the floor. There are a couple ways to get back here. I can just kind of step right in. If you notice, I did that with ease. The flying young man on the trapeze. You can also just pop that. So that might be an option. Watch this. Shabam! Uh! Come out of the shadows like a monster. Here's our space. Now this is interesting. The vehicle is so long that it's got its own separate moonroof for the back. Now that's a sandwich and a half. Got the pano right there, and then the regular right there. That's three, baby. Woo! Nice, I love the material. I love the pattern on the seats. And everything with that real wood just looks so money. And as we go in here, let's please not forget, this has 23 speakers. Nice. 23 premium speakers, perfect sound for all rows. And look, we've got some ambient lighting down here. You can see it as we look a little bit closer. One of the tallest sunshades I've ever seen. Gotta cover that window, right? Look here, we've got latches. They're there. And then, this is pretty impressive. We've got tablets right here. Look at the use of different colors, textures, feels. So much room back here. It's like Smash Mouth says, so much to see, so much to do. So what else can we do? Well, we can open this up. Look at that, connectivity, my friends. But I can also open this up and look. Whoa, it's really deep in there. That's pretty impressive. Gloss black as it curves, big cup holder bottles, maybe even sport bottles. Look at that. So yeah, I can adjust my temperature if I want to. Go up like that. I can do it on this side too. I can change the flow and the fan speed. Got ventilated, got heated. I kind of wish this folded up and over kind of out of the way, but it doesn't. We've got more ambient lighting. Let's see how much more ambient lighting we have as we look over here. In the door, I see it on the dash all the way sweeping across. This is one of the most gorgeous interior cabins I've ever seen. I'm in love. Hey, automatic running boards, I like. Let's go inside. Oh yeah, nice. Big wide step, because you're gonna need it. Look at this, wide track here for storage. Boom, boy that music is jamming. I don't know if you can hear it too well, probably you can. But it makes it go. We've got massaging seats. Look at that. And it kind of goes like a da-da, da-da, da-da as we make our adjustments here. <laughs> that is crazy. That is really cool. All right, so kind of a small glove box. It's an observation, but everything else is huge here. All right, this is a 14-way adjustable passenger and driver seat. Seats are very comfortable. Lots of padding. 
a ton of padding, my friends. Look at that. So again, is this worth the price? If you wanted to be in that tax bracket and it's a choice we all make, would this be something you consider? Oh, it's just gorgeous. I love it. I love these controls. I love them so much. Now this is gonna be beeping. That's gonna be really annoying me because it's a show car. We've got adjustable pedals right here. Look at that. Now that's a great feature. Love that. Wish a lot of vehicles had that. Power steering wheel goes pretty fast. I'm just a huge fan anytime a vehicle adds in ambient light. Okay, let's just push one random button here. The whole thing opens up to show so many USB ports. It's like the heavens open up. Ah, angels singing, birds chirping, going crazy. I'm tired of that. Put it away. <laughs> so yeah, let's adjust the lumbar up and down. Yeah, we'll get the massage going there. Nice, so we gotta do those controls and they're not set up right now, but we can do our seats. That's cool, we got the thigh bolster, lumbar in and out. So much to see here, woo! That's very cool, look at this here. We can make changes. I don't want the radio to come on, but. Comfort, make that change. Make that change, gonna make the change. Come on, come on. Do our navigation system, takes up the whole screen, I like that. Set up your phone. Vehicle, what can we do here? Well, we got device manager, navigation, you connect, rear seat, oh, traffic sign assist. Uh, let's just say there's a lot of customization available here. That's really cool, look at that. I love it. So much you can do here. Woo! Can we change that? Is it working? Yeah, you can change it to red or got yellow, white. That is amazing. I love it. I love it. So we can do two different colors if you want to. Whoa, what's up with that? That's very cool. Do the yellow. So we could set it up with yellow. We could set it up with blue, red. Imagine you can sync the colors together and then go back to our apps. So a lot of functions, right? So now here we can make some changes as well. Let's just go through some screens. I know it's hard to see, but we're in the dark. I feel like I'm in the dark. Don't you? Got our safety systems right here. And then look at this. Can do the navigation on this screen. That's pretty remarkable. We got different driving modes. You got rock, sand and mud, snow, auto, sport. The four wheel drive low right here. Can make our height adjustments. Just like that. Change that up, baby. And then up top here, lights, and then lighted with slider. And Jeep was kind enough to put some specs out here. Grand Wagoneer Series 3. American Walnut, love it. What else we got? <laughs> They're bragging about their display. I don't blame them. Oh, I didn't even do the 10 inch full color head up display. Available rear entertainment screens with Amazon Fire. Whoop, whoop. All right, look at that. Nice. Do you like it? Thanks so much for watching everybody. Let me know what you think of Grand Wagoneer. It's pretty exciting. There's so much to see. Woo, that's exciting. All right, please follow me. Auto Jeff Reviews, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and I'll see you next time.